as India's leading manufacturer of blockboard, plywood, veneers and laminates. Century Ply, which was set up in 1986, is always committed to providing the best quality and ensuring that customer trust is always upheld. Blockboard is an important product of the company and today we will see the entire manufacturing process of blockboard. A blockboard is a compound wood board made of uniform strips of wood placed end-to-end -end in adjacent columns between two styles. They are then sandwiched between two thick veneers of hardwood and finally glued under an optimal amount of heat and pressure. The process begins at a sawmill where highly matured logs, free from any natural defect, are cut into planks of different shapes and sizes. These planks then undergo a chemical treatment. They are treated with a concentrated and saturated chemical composition of boron compounds using the dip diffusion method. This treatment is unique to century ply and protects the wood from termite and borer attacks. Once treated with chemicals, the plants are then set for drying by exposing them to ambient air. This technique is called air seasoning. Here, the layers of planks are separated by crosses and stacked on raised foundations in a clean and dry place. The next process is kiln seasoning. This is the most important step for achieving the promising quality standard for blockboard that we have set. In this process, the planks are stacked inside a kiln to season the timber to the desired moisture contents. A kiln is a chamber that is equipped to heat and humidify the air and its circulation over the surface of the timber stacked inside it to desired drying conditions. The seasoning of timber starts at a comparatively lower temperature and a higher humidity level. These conditions gradually keep altering as the timber dries until the targeted moisture content is achieved. The duration of kiln seasoning depends on the initial moisture content and the refractoriness nature of the timber. We usually conduct kiln seasoning for up to 250 hours. Kiln seasoning also helps in sterilizing the timber as the temperature and humidity employed typically kills all fungi and insects in the wood. Whereas in air seasoning, this function can't be achieved. And lastly, being dependent on atmospheric conditions, air seasoning is not suitable for proper drying and does not come without the risk of cracking or splitting the timber. Once the correct level of dryness is achieved, the planks are cut into various thicknesses. This process is called ripping and planing. These cut planks, called fillers or battens, are used to assemble the inner core of block boards. The planing process ensures a smooth surface of the fillers and the frame. The planks are then used to make the vertical styles of the frame. The next process is board assembly. Here, wooden battens are placed end-to-end -end inside the frame with the end joints compressed to leave no space in between. The 8 feet glue spreader is the junction where Century Ply's proprietary anti-termite and borrow treatment is introduced along with the glue to each sheet of veneer, ensuring that all layers are totally covered. The glue spreader ensures uniform distribution of the glue mixture over the whole sheet. Because the 8 feet glue spreader covers the whole 8 feet sheet at one go, thus maintaining uniform distribution. Century Ply's patented chemical is added to the glue and this gets into each and every sheet. This proprietary treatment is unique to Century Ply and is termed as the GLP or glue line protection providing complete protection from termite and borer attacks. 
here it is important to note that in board of any thickness total five number of layers are maintained to ensure rigidity which includes the battens two core veneers and two face veneers Century ply always does a pre-pressing stage where the assembled boards are kept under high pressure but not heated. This ensures the uniform distribution of the glue in the cellulose structure of the wood. If the glue had been immediately heated, it would have solidified and stayed on the surface of each layer. Next, the cold press mats are removed and put through the hot press under high pressure and control temperature that allows the glue to bond properly with the wood and imparts desired properties like strength, durability and longevity. Once the process is over, the mats are kept at room temperature for 6 to 12 hours to allow the glue to set. This is a very important step in the manufacturing process. Century Ply is always committed to providing high calibration and precision products. So, as per Indian standards, edges of boards have to be uniformly straight, both horizontally and vertically. The double dimension saw is part of a conveyor belt system which once trims the edges vertically and then trims it horizontally. After trimming, the conveyor system passes it on to the wide belt sanding machine which sands both surfaces of the boards and makes it ready for the next stage. The sanded mats till now are composed of battens and core veneer. But block boards should have an aesthetic and visual appeal. So, face veneers are applied on both sides of each mat. They are again passed through glue spreader to apply the face veneers on both sides. Century Ply passes every product through a double cycle to minimize defects and errors. After refacing the entire process of cold and hot pressing, the final trimming and sanding are repeated. The double process of four times pressing ensures better compaction of the layers and is unique to Century Ply. Century Ply comes with a specially designed surface treatment called ViroKill, which is activated nanoparticles which rupture and kill viruses on contact. In fact, it kills 99.99% of all viruses on surface contact, as per test certifications carried out by authorized laboratories. Century Ply is the only company providing boards with antimicrobial properties. For this, each individual board is dipped through a special formulation containing ACC or acid copper chromate. This is in accordance with BIS 5539 norms. Customer satisfaction and quality is the prime motto of Century Ply. Each board is individually passed through a series of tests and grading. First in line comes individual inspection and hand polishing to impart perfectness to each boards. Finally, block boards are printed with digital printer in the middle and solvent-based roller printer on the sides. The middle print area includes unique QR codes to discourage and negate duplication. Further. This process is environment-friendly too. The boards are stacked on wooden battens to provide a flat platform in such a way that it will give support at ends and corners of the boards with intermediate battens placed at suitable intervals to avoid warping. The block boards are now finally ready for dispatch. So now you have seen the journey of how blockboard is manufactured, right from sourcing to dispatch. We hope you enjoyed learning all along the way.